<laughs> Welcome to the Dum Dum News Channel. I'm your host, Dum Dum. I hope everyone is having a great Sunday and keeping warm. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing, hitting that like button, and the notification bell and leaving some comments below every time you click on that little like button the youtube -y algorithm spread the word out to more people before i get into the main video clip i wanted to show you a brief clip of this guy describing what's happening in american university with students and i think he's right on point the key to the new morality is a method of looking at society and looking in terms of power and privilege. So the old idea of an education is come to campus, we're going to teach you lots of perspectives that you can use, you know, what would an, let's look at poverty. What would an economist say? You know, what, what would a Marxist say? You know, we used to learn a lot of perspectives to look at a single problem. But what's happening now is some students, again, it's only in a few departments, right. but they're learning one perspective to look at everything. And so you start, this, so there's a good kind of identity politics, which is, you know, if black people are being denied rights, let's fight for their rights. That's the good kind. But there's a bad kind, which is to train students, train young people to say, let's divide everybody up by their race and gender and other categories. We'll assign them moral merit based on their level of privilege is bad and victimhood is good. Okay, now let's look at everything through this lens. Israel, the Palestinians are the victims. So therefore, they are the good and the Jews or the Israelis are the bad. Right. And then you get, and then that, so it's this one totalizing perspective. All social problems get reduced to this simple framework. I think we're doing them a disservice. I think we're actually making students less wise. What do you guys think about what that guy just said? Okay, in the main clip today, we're gonna see one of Donald Trump's attorneys, Michael Vanderveen, go in on this anchor. And he's gonna have a few things that he's gonna be describing here. And since I keep getting copyright claims on some of my videos for other videos that I'm using, I'm gonna to have to break this up into smaller pieces, which is fine, so let's get started. President Trump's attorney, Michael Vanderveen. Thank you, sir, for joining us. Let's get right into those words that we heard from Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell. He ended the trial with his passionate speech about President Trump's involvement in the insurrection. During it, he said that the former president is still liable for everything he did during his period in office. Are you expecting to face more charges against Mr. Trump in the near future? And do you anticipate being part of that defense? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know why, if there's protests all around the nation, marches, burning, looting, killing, they call them protests, mostly peaceful protests. But one time that people go and march and protest at the Capitol, it's called an insurrection. No, that's just political rhetoric. And I was hopeful that something would come out of this, that the political rhetoric would stop out of Washington, D.C., but I guess apparently it hasn't. Were you, though, surprised to hear those words coming from the leader of the Republican Party in the Senate? I'm not surprised to hear a politician say anything at all. No. Well, throughout, throughout the trial, you denied that Mr. Trump had a role in inciting the January 6th insurrection at the Capitol. You argued, first of all, that there was no insurrection. But during your closing arguments, you seemingly admitted that there was, in fact, an insurrection, using that word, saying that that, that was not up for debate. What role no, you, did the former you, you president you play? You, you didn't understand the case. I used the word I'll give you the opportunity to clarify, my, sir. Sure. I uh, used the word insurrection in my closing argument when quoting the charging documents. Um, what happened at the Capitol on January 6th is absolutely horrific. But what happened at the Capitol during this trial was uh, not too far away from that. The prosecutors in this case doctored evidence. They did not investigate this case. And when they had to come uh, to the court of the Senate to put their case on, because they hadn't done any investigation, they doctored evidence. It was absolutely shocking, I think, uh, when, uh, when we discovered it and we were able to expose it and put it out. Uh, I think it turned a lot of senators. The American people should not be putting up with this. They need to look at who, uh, who these House managers were uh, and look to see whether these are the folks they want representing them. It was, absolutely, it was shocking to me. Just a few things here. She said that he called it an insurrection and he had to correct her and say, no, I didn't say that. I was quoting the documents. That's first thing that he had to stop her on because he saw that she tried to throw it in there to say that he actually said it, but no, that wasn't true. And then he says something really important here. He says that these house leaders doctored evidence. If you don't know what doctored evidence means is that they change the evidence so that it looks favorable to their case. Wouldn't have believed it. Uh Let's follow up with uh, with a point that you're making right now about the house managers, as you say, doctoring evidence and uh, and the argument. They didn't, uh, they didn't deny it. Yours. They didn't deny it. Uh, I put it in That's another thing. She tried to say that that was an argument 
that it was doctored evidence and it's not an argument. And he's saying that it's not an argument by letting her know that they didn't deny it. In front of them to be three clear times. for our viewers, what you're, what you're talking about now is, is a check mark uh, that's a verification on Twitter that, that did not exist on that particular tweet, uh, a 2020 that should have actually read 2021, um, and the selective editing, you say, of, of the tapes. Is that how, is that the doctored evidence of what you're speaking? Wait, wait, that's not enough for you? That's not enough for you? No, I'm, I, 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 wait, 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 no, sir, no, no. I'm trying, listen, I, I'm not a listen, juror in this trial. What I'm trying to be all, clear for our viewers is what, you, actually, is what you're we, referring we found, to. No, not no, everybody no, has found, been following. It's not okay no, not everybody, to doctor sir, a little bit of evidence. Respectfully. respectfully. I have not, not said it question, is. I have not said it is okay. Ma'am, your question is I want turned. to be clear for our viewers. Listen, what I has want to be clear for our viewers about what exactly you're saying when you say doctored evidence. The media has to start telling the right story in this country. The media is trying to divide this country. You are bloodthirsty for ratings. And as such, you're asking questions now that are already uh, uh, set up with a fact pattern. I can't believe you would ask me a question indicating that it's all right just to doctor a little bit of evidence. There's more stuff that we uncovered that they doctored, to be frank with you. And perhaps that will come out one day. But we won this case. And I'm not a sore loser. But what happened, or a sore winner, I should say, but what should happen is somebody should look at the conduct of these house managers. It, it, it's It's unconscionable aside from all of the due process violations that my client had. And the media should be looking that at a square, straight way. A straight way. When I watch the news, I watch one station and it's raining. I watch another station at the same time and it's sunny. Your coverage is so slanted, it's got to stop. You guys have to stop and start reporting more like PBS does rather than uh, 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 a TV news show that doesn't have any journalistic integrity at all. What I'm telling you is that they doctored evidence. And I believe your question says, well, it's only a Twitter check and, a, and changing a year of a date here. They switched the date of a Twitter a year to try to connect it to this case. That's not a small thing, ma'am. The other thing they did is they put Sorry? a check mark on something to, to make it look like it was a validated account when it wasn't. And when they were caught, they didn't say anything about it. They didn't even try to come up with an excuse about it. And that's not the way our prosecutors or our government officials should be conducting themselves. And the media shouldn't be letting them get away with it either. I'm tired of the biased media on both sides, left and right. What this country wants, what this country needs, is this country to come together, to take the left and the right and find a middle ground and start responsibly being our public officials, our elected officials. And, the new, and the re, one of the reasons why they do it is because of the media, because the media wants to tell their narrative rather than just telling it like it is. And frankly, I'm tired of it. I'm not a media, I'm not in front of your cameras all the time, uh, but what right. I've been subjected Sir, I, to I, I, this I last week. I understand, yeah. and I've given you, you the opportunity. You don't want to hear the truth, yeah. Oh, he just told her, you don't want to hear the truth. And he makes a really good point here that the American people want the left side and the right side to come together. That's exactly right. Okay. I've given you the opportunity. I, I will remind you that what I said was that for our viewers who have not we been following all of the hours of of this trial mm -hmm. to be clear about what you what you are speaking about. And I understand I'm speaking that you about the House manager's upset. failure to prove their case. That's that, that's what I'm telling and you. They you weren't able to prove their the case. Acquittal you have won the acquittal of your client. Yes, and if you'd I like did. to continue to talk about this conversation, we can have that discussion. I don't need but, to. Uh, but for me to ask a question, a, a, slant, a, question a slanted question, viewers, a slanted question that was set up question. to say it's okay for them to cheat. Well, that's the show for today. I really want to hear your thoughts, so leave your comments below for the Dum Dum News Channel. I'm Dum Dum. <laughs>